folks uh sunday here uh, man i went up to the uh, to the corner to get some coffee as i do and uh man i'm all for the environment but these plastic or uh, paper these paper straws suck or maybe i should say they don't suck uh because this is what you end up with look at this that's just crazy so anyway we're gonna get rid of that and just have a little sip of regular coffee Mm. Anyway, guys, I uh, I got a little I got a little time here uh, before I, I'm gonna try to get to the pool and, and just get a little uh, get a little R and R before the week starts. Uh, thanks for checking out the um, the tickets for the uh, the in stereo album release show August seven, uh, 16th and 17th are on sale now, and uh, I know tomorrow they're gonna be doing a low ticket uh, um, announcement, so get those while you can. And I'll put the link to both shows in the description below here uh, at the end of this video. So definitely check that out. Thanks for all the engagement on these past videos. Uh, your, your, all your messages um, definitely get read. Uh, and so we're still weeding out the riffraff, but we're, but we're doing good. We're, we've, we've got a good uh, success rate going here, I think, with this, with this stuff. But, but guys, I wanted to show you a couple things. Just getting back to the... Um, to kind of the blues basics. I mean, everything comes back to the blues. If you know these blues progressions uh, inside and out, and you can feel those like a heartbeat, uh, that is the true foundation of American roots music. If you want to play funk, country, rock, soul, R&B, uh, whatever it is, uh, you got to know the blues progression. You got to be able to navigate through these these sounds. And this is an E7 sound, right? <laughs> Here's some notes you can use just in this open position. We're just gonna go E. Now we're pulling from minor pentatonic, major pentatonic. We're pulling from all these different sounds. We're pulling from the E6 sound. You know, that'd be like. That's kind of that sound, right? E6. Second fret B string. I'm not playing that chord, but I'm going to pull from that sound. So what happens is we got this. There's my major third, right? Now I can add this, right? 
So that's the second fret E string. Okay, now we got. So the same thing on the E string, uh, third fret to the second fret, then the B string, for, uh, G string, second fret. So A to um, G sharp. Pentatonic, but we're not getting enough of the major third if we just play that. So we got to play, you know. So all these notes. Those are all fair game with this, right? But some of the phrases I like start on the the. Um, That's mixing these sounds up a little bit and getting some some different um, you know we're getting some mileage out of the, all these notes so I'm gonna start on the B like a little country blues lick right that's kind of like country blues style but so if I go here like and what that is that's really part of an a7 but you could go which is that's a tritone right so that'd be your e7 because there's your e there's your e7 but instead of going which is cool too i'm just doing this these sounds going from the six to the flat seven that's a big deal right there just that little hammer on these phrases and we're, we're just stacking them on each other so this might be a phrase this might be your next phrase this might be your next one that caps it off so that's putting three phrases together to kind of say something so if I go that's a complete thought right there then another one See how that one's a little darker? But I'm still hammering on the major third. Or. Because we don't want to be too happy. be too dark either that's all minor we got to mix it so On that 
that sixth of E now ends up being the major third of A. Play the second fret E string because that's the that's the five of B. So one of my favorite blues licks over the B chord. changing that's what we got to hear are these little you know country I'm gonna call these like country blues kind of sounds right but that's the idea these little you know these notes that we have so let me give you all the notes you have available in this in this area So you might want to kind of get off that a little quick if you use that. It's meant for that, right? So again. Just take that right there and do that. Um, that's three phrases that make up one big statement, right? Again. That's the chord, right? So let's do it one more time. Thank you. 
folks. Just a little, just a little bit of uh, some tweaking on the blues. There's a lot more that I could do, I could do with that, and we'll get to some of that. But um, just want to get you a little video. Hey, uh, thanks so much. Uh, of course, we're going to keep ramping this channel up, and there's a bunch of stuff to come. The podcast is coming soon, telecasting from East Nashville with uh, your old buddy GT here. Uh, we're starting that. Uh, of course, you know, we needed to take on another project. So um, we'll be getting that going. Check out the Instagram, uh, telecasting, with e uh, with, well, telecasting from East Nashville uh, with Guthrie Trap. Um, that's me. Uh, and then um, the... I think the Instagram, you can also search uh, telecasting with GT, I think is one of the handles that that comes up of, username, whatever. Anyway, guys, look, hope you had a great weekend. Uh, I'm kind of like this, been a lot going on. Uh, you know, just constantly um, dialing in, trying to get organized, trying to stay motivated, uh, trying to learn some stuff, and just trying to keep all this stuff going. So thanks so much to you guys for helping uh, develop this um uh, develop and, and maintain this awesome community uh, community that we have here. Uh, very easy for me to say. And so uh, I got signing off here, folks. Been a been a been a pleasure uh, getting reconnected with everybody over some of these last videos that that uh, the, some great comments and stuff. So uh, blah blah blah. Anyway, you get the idea. Thanks a bunch, y'all. We'll see you real soon. All right, cheers.